Hey everybody. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag in some content and I'm gonna skip past this for right now. So here's the content. The next thing we have to do is to tell it what it is. So we're gonna split this into the left half only. And I'm gonna change the stereo eye to be the right eye. Now again, I add the same footage and I'm going to change that to be the right half and change it to be the stereo left eye. By changing it to show side-by-side -side VR 180, you'll notice the lenses are at the center as they should be. So this is the left eye and this is the right eye. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, first we don't need this up and I'm gonna only go to look at one eye. I'm going to adjust the circle mass from 100 and I'm gonna bring it down and move it around just by clicking on it and holding and dragging it and center it up around the circular video. Now let's get the circle mass to where it's covering the entire eye. And we're gonna bring it out a little bit. So now this looks pretty good. I'm not gonna worry about seeing this lens because there's a way to get rid of that later. Now what I've done is I'm gonna create, I've created the circle mask. Now we're gonna do the same thing and actually all we're gonna do is take the same settings and put it for the other side and adjust it to where it's covering properly. Now you're gonna do your normal VR180 adjustments to adjust your stereo before you output it. Um, we've got a focal length at seven, but I don't like how it's bending everything. So I'm gonna change the focal length to, let's bring it up to about 10 and that makes the pole look nice and straight. And let's change the other one, the other side to the same at 10. Now, if you put on your anaglyph glasses and set it for black and white anaglyph, you can see how nice the stereo looks. If you wanna see it in side-by-side -side VR 180, you can see what that is gonna look like also. And again, it looks pretty nice. Now, all you need to do is, you've got this preset saved, so you can use it anytime that you want to. I'm calling it Canon VR, uh, excuse me, Canon R5 VR180, and I've saved it, so I can use it anytime. And that's how it works. Uh, you can just go from there uh, and render out your sequence to whatever format you want to use. I like to use QuickTime ProRes HQ, and of course, left, right in the movie. Big thanks to Eric Chang, Yu Ho, and Roman Dudek. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to do more with this camera. I think it's gonna be fantastic. I hope this helps you guys with uh, doing the adjustments. And I've heard from Roman that they're gonna be putting out a, a version of the preset later on down the line that will automatically uh, create the two versions so you won't have to drag it in twice.